I know what you're thinking. Wow, see this girl. Look at her apron. She looks so fine. I wonder where she got it. Don't worry, your favorite African auntie is here in the building about to tell you how you two could slay the game. My name is Polly, and sometimes I like to make stuff. Today I am making an adult size apron, which is absolutely fabulous, fabulous as a gift either for Mother's Day, Valentine's, Christmas is coming up. Um, and it's a one size fits all, and I'm going to make sure to include all the measurements and everything that you do need to make this apron. And without further ado, let's get to it. So the different parts of the apron that we're going to cut today, we're going to start with the skirt, which is the bottom part, very easy. And then we've got our pockets, flirty, flirty pockets, because everybody needs pockets. Um, we also have the waistband, which is just going to be half of your waistline, plus an inch of seam allowance. And then we also have the bib, which is this top part to protect your chest from any splashes. So that's the bib right here. Um, and we also have the straps. And the straps go all the way from here, all the way around to the back and across. And you can tie them in a bow as you can see. So first we're gonna need a scissors. I'll put that there. And fabric chalk or pencil. I use fabric pencil because that's just my preference. Um, and then we also have a ruler, which you're definitely going to need, so I will put that there as well. So this is what I'm going to use, and I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. I really want to use this piece as my waistband, but as you can see, there's these two stickers um, that might be difficult sometimes when stickers are on fabric and you try to take them off, it gets, it like leaves sticky residue. Um, and the easy way to deal with that is just to steam it. So just steam it from behind, from the back, just iron it, um, press it, and it should be able to just like peel off really well. So I'm just gonna take a minute and go and do that right now, and then I'll show you the result. Now that we have all the fabric pieces that we need cut out, our job is pretty much cut out for us, <laughs> pun intended. Anyways, um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to work on the skirt part first. And what I like to do is to attach the pockets. We have two pockets, one is going to be on this side and the other is going to be on the other side, the two front pockets. I like to put them onto the skirt before gathering because it's just easier while the skirt is still flat. And another thing I'm going to go and do at the sewing machine is hem the skirt. So we're going to attach our pockets and we're going to hem the skirt. Basically what you want to do after you've folded it is you want to press it because pressing it makes it easier for the seams to lie flat and once the seams lie flat you can easily maneuver your pocket and not worry about the seams coming out. It becomes easier, you don't even have to use pins for the most part but you know what, use pins if you're a beginner because it's always better safe than sorry. So basically what I go ahead and do for pockets is you want to stitch, I don't know if you can see this seam line here, that's the top hem. You want to make sure that is stitched because we're not going to be able to stitch that once it's attached to the skirt. So I'm going to take this one here. Um, which is the one that has not been done yet and I'll show you. So basically what we're doing is we have everything folded and pressed, folded and pressed, and I'm just going to go ahead and stitch this up just so that we have a whole pocket. I'll show you what this looks like. So this is what it looks like when you've just hemmed the top. 
part of the pocket um, and I did not do the sides so don't do the sides because we're going to do that when we stitch it onto the skirt we just want to do the top part because we're not able to do that when we attach it to the skirt so basically what you have is a pocket that is pressed and folded and you have just the top seam done and I'm going to have two of those to put on my apron um, so I just finished hemming my skirts. This is the wrong side of the skirt. I wanted to show you my hem. It's really, really perfect. I don't know if you can see it with all this brightness, probably not. But what I used to make it perfect was a hemming foot. It makes your job so much easier. Um, you can get these on Amazon, but if you have any questions or if you'd like me to make a separate tutorial on how to use them, please let me know and I'll make a separate tutorial on how to use a hemming foot. It basically saves you a lot of time. So basically now we have our skirt. This is the right side up. It's folded in half. I have my pockets ready to go. Um, I'll show you a little trick that I like to do. I like to fold it one more time. So now we have it in quarters. So what you're going to do is on the two halves, mark the quarter point as well. So it's now, I guess, a new half center fold and center fold. So we have the center center fold of the whole skirt and the center of this half and the center of the other half. And what we're going to do with the center is we're going to line it up with the center of our pocket to make sure that our pocket is nice and spaced out evenly across the skirt. This is where we want our pocket to be. Anyways, um, we also need to measure out how far below the waistband or above the hem that we would like the pocket. So you could just do either or and make sure that you measure, you, you mark the points on both sides of the skirt so that the pockets come out evenly. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and stitch our pockets and remember just stitch the sides and the bottom. Don't stitch the top because we've already done that. Otherwise you're going to seal the pocket shut. Rookie mistake, don't do that. I'm going to go ahead and sew these on now. Is just like I like to have the needle pressing down so that it holds the fabric and you just like lift your foot lift your foot a little bit and just twist while the needle is holding it down it makes it easy to navigate the corners and just continue corner make sure the needle is all the way down nice and firm so that your fabric does not move just twist and keep going And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pocket. See, and there you go, you've got your pocket. That was easy, right? <laughs> okay, on to the next thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to sew a strap. This is one that I already pre-did. I have one and I need another one because we need two of them. Um, and as you can see, it is stitched up on both sides. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but I basically stitched really close to this edge and really close to that edge. I think there's like two millimeters allowance on um, on each side and it gives it a nice strappy feel and I'll show you how I made this strap. Um, basically, the same way we make a strap is the same way we're going to make the little loops, the, uh, the loops. Oh. 
So basically, the same way we make a strap is the same way we're going to make the tiny little loops um, that we're going to attach to our waistband to be able to put the straps through. So the loop, by loops, I mean it's like this. It's going to be attached like this. This is one that I've also already done. It's also stitched up both sides. So here as well as here. And I'll show you from a raw one. Um, basically, let's start with the small one. So basically this was the small little loop piece that we had and this one is the one that's done as you can see it's the same size and what I basically did is just like look at it really closely um, be careful not to fold the wrong side so this is the right side so you take it this is the wrong side up wrong side up I fold in the sides to make it the size the size that I I guess basically to make it the size that I want so we're gonna try to match this size here so we're gonna fold in both sides basically so you're gonna fold in wrong side in wrong side in and you're gonna fold it one more time and now you have kind of like this, this kind of edge. I don't know if you can see that kind of edge, right? Because you folded it, fold it again, and the other edge is a closed edge. That's what we're going to do, and then we're going to stitch um, the sides and make sure that you fold it to the same size as the other one so that they match. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to stitch it up because that's easy. And I'll show you how I did the strap just because it's longer. It's exactly the same process. So this is our strap piece. This is our strap piece. Okay, so this is the right side of the fabric. I want the wrong side of the fabric. So we're gonna fold into the wrong side so that we close and cover the wrong side of the fabric. So you want your strap to be a nice width so that you can be able to fold it into a nice um, thick uh, strap. You don't want it to be flimsy. You want it to be nice and firm. So you can fold it as many times as you want. This is wax fabric so it's a lot easier to work with. Um, and basically, for a bigger fabric, it's easy on the small one, you don't really, like you can get away without pressing, but when it comes to the big one, you definitely need to press it, you cannot um, do it without, you can, you can put pins and stuff, but I always find that when I put pins without pressing, it doesn't come out as nice, so it's always better to, you know, um, just, guys, ironing, ironing as you go really changes your life, trust me, especially if you're a beginner. So, anyways, the strap, this is what we do. Um, you're going to take one side I love wax fabric because I can also just do that and it stays it's not like most other fabrics it's a hundred percent cotton by the way in case you're wondering which is a medium weight um, fabric so we're gonna fold in the other side as well just like we did in the little little guy that we did okay so I'll finish this off camera, but I'm just showing you how I did it, so you see how I achieved this. So now I have it, you know, first fold and then fold in half, and there we go. I have a strap, right? So you fold it in half, and make sure, like, I usually sew the open sides shut first, and then I go all the way around, and then just come back to the other side. Just, if you could do it in one go, even better. Make sure that you don't have any raw edges on the, like you can have one raw edge on the on the strap just because we're going to attach it to the bib. Um, I left kind of this raw edge and this is the edge that I want to be out um, as the strap that's going to be used and seen. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish the loop and the strap. So what I did with the bib, I just, like I showed you, folded in, folded in, um, folded in twice and pressed, or you could use a hemming foot. And so I just hemmed the sides. I left the this edge raw and this edge raw. The bottom edge is going to be attached to the waistband. 
the top edge what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fold it and I'm going to fold it again I like my top to be substantial I guess like just to be nice and firm so that you can be able to tell um, which side is the is the right side and the wrong side of the fabric um, yeah I like it to be nice and firm but let me show you exactly how I'm going to attach the straps while I have this because it is easier to just attach it while I'm hemming okay so what I do with this fold and the strap is I take the strap this is my raw edge of the strap I basically tuck it under you can see that tuck it under make sure it's nicely positioned on this on the extreme side of the top the way you want it um, the second one is going to obviously come on this side but it's tucked under the raw edge is tucked under and it's you know nice and firm um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and stitch it right across so imagine there was two straps here I would I'm gonna I'm gonna stitch the two straps at the same time but right across here and I'm also gonna go and do it at the top edge of the bib and what that does is it secures the strap as well as the top of the bib at the same time it secures the strap two places the bottom and the top your straps are never going anywhere it also just comes out looking a lot neater than putting the strap outside but you know what if you're taking shortcuts or if you're a beginner feel free to do whatever you find easier so I'm going to go ahead and take this bib and attach the straps and I'm going to stitch it up and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like Now that our skirt has our pockets attached and all the edges are hemmed except for the raw edge that we're going to attach to the waistband, all that's left to do with the skirt now is to gather the raw edge. So to be able to gather the raw edge what we're going to do is we're going to just sew a loose stitch across. So you could do it um, either manually by hand if you would like. And if you do it by hand, a nice trick that I like to use is to do two. If you do two, um, two lines of a uh, loose seam uh, a loose seam and then just like pull it and gather it the gathers come out a lot better than when you do one when you do just one sometimes they don't come out evenly but if you do two i find that they come out evenly just space out the lines by like an inch or two depending on how thick your waistband is going to be it just makes it more sturdy so that's what i'm going to do i like to do it manually so we're going to do it manually okay guys here we are home run finally um it's been a long day of sewing anyways we're finally here everything else has been done we're just left with attaching our gathered skirt um to our bib using our waistband and this is my waistband using my waist size it is half my waist size plus about four inches um just for ease and also for seam allowance and now when it comes to waistbands i'm not an expert by any means i know that there's multiple ways to do this and i really really suggest that you look around and try different things to see what works for you um but what i am going to do what i like to do is i like to take the waistband right now it is right sides facing each other so right sides facing each other um, and here's my skirt. My skirt is right side facing up. I've got my pockets right here And what I like to do personally for me don't quote me um, is to sandwich. I like to sandwich I like to sandwich this the the gather With the waistband so basically this is the waistband the waistband right sides are facing each other this skirt is in the middle the gathered skirt and I like to match the edges basically to line up the edges um, is I don't know that's the trick that I usually do so I like to line up the edges and sandwich it with the right sides of the waistband facing each other make sure everything is lined up that's important so basically once it is sandwiched what I like to do is I like to sew um, uh, a straight stitch all the way from there to the end and then when that is done all three pieces will be attached to each other 
and after that what I like to do is then I flip the waistband so that's why the right sides were facing each other because we're gonna flip it and we're gonna do the same on the other side flip it and then they're going to meet again at the top here so they meet again at the top once they meet again at the top what we're gonna do then is sandwich the bib I'll just put it here let me move this so once it's like that I like to then sandwich the bib make sure all the center points are marked and matching each other so let's assume that my waistband has been sewn the first seam and we've attached the skirt and the two waistbands and now we've flipped so let's just imagine I've already stitched this and what we're gonna do is take the bib make sure everything is lining up I'll move it here a little bit make sure everything is lining up and sandwich it in between and what you're gonna do then is like fold the waistband in just to get rid of those raw edges and you're gonna do that for both the front and the back make sure you pin everything in line and once that's done um, I would also then like stitch at the top here to make sure that the bib is attached and once that's done I would just sew all the way around and top stitch um, the bottom just to make it neater and to make uh, our waistband nice and firm just top stitch the, the seam again um, uh, just to make it stronger since it's the waist we don't want our skirt falling apart um, yeah so basically you know I'm sure you can see that the the I'm sure you I'm sure you can see that the I'm sure you can see that the apron is like coming together and basically after attaching or at the same time I'm sure you can see I'm sure you can see that like after attaching the waistband this whole apron will come together the last thing that I probably have to show you guys that I didn't talk about is the loops remember these guys the tiny little pieces I'll show you what we're gonna do with them so we're going to assume that this is sewn we're just gonna assume that it's sewn let's pin it so this is our apron our waistband let's assume that this waistband here um, has been stitched on the bottom and now we're working around stitching at the top so I like to do it at the same time so what I usually do is I fold it in and I fold in the edges as well both sides the front and the back and what you're going to do is you're going to take your little guys right these little guys and you're going to fold it fold it over like like so so just fold it over like so like so do you see that like so and like that simple like a loop right it's a loop and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the wider wider side facing down you're just gonna tuck that in as you're hemming the waistband as you're like as you're as you're stitching out so as you're stitching up the edges of the waistband just squeeze these in and just attach it so basically the waistband is the final final step and everything kind of comes together that way so that's how you attach the loops here you go so that's what the loops looks like so just tuck it in when you're sewing in the, the waistband on the sides and you're good to go so one on each side and our apron is pretty much done so I'm gonna go and attach my waistband um, that shouldn't take me too long and then I'll show you the finished product have it guys the final product I'm so proud of this look how beautiful it is we've got the pockets we've got the loops we've got our perfect perfect straps comment down below if you like this apron and just so you guys know if you ever want to purchase anything that you see on my channel or on my Instagram just get in touch with me and we can arrange that for you okay 
Right now this apron is available for purchase in my shop, the link is going to be down below. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that. So don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the tutorial. And don't forget to send me pictures if you give the pattern a try. Um, and until next time, happy sewing!